Hello all, welcome to part 11 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate different types of logs and their levels in Extent Reports. So if you understand the previous session, you can understand this session easily because all these different type of logs like fail, skip, warning, pass and info I already covered in the previous session and this session is a continuation of the previous session where I am going to explain the different levels. Okay, when you use multiple logs for a single test, then what will be the level of the logs? Okay, as I explained in the previous session, I'm going to cover the same in the current session. Case, okay, so log levels in extent reports. When you use multiple type of logs like fail, skip, warning, pass, info with a single test, in extent reports, in the generated extent report, the test will be either termed as fail or skip or warning or pass or info de depending on this log levels. Okay. If you can see here, fail will start stand at the hash level one. Okay. If you have multiple logs associated with a single test, like fail, mentioned as fail, skip, warning, pass, info, then the test will be considered as fail only. Okay. But if you don't have anything fail, but you have skip, warning, pass, and info logs with this uh, test, then skip will be considered, okay? The test will be considered as skip, okay? But what if you don't have fail and skip, then you have only warning pass and info associated with that, uh, that particular test in the extent report. In that case, warning will be considered, okay? What if you have only pass and info, then pass will be considered. If you only have info, then also pass will be considered, okay? Info means only information. So automatically nothing got, uh, there's no warning, there is no skip, there is no fail. Automatically info also will result in pass. Okay, I'll show, the, show you all these things practically now. Here first let's create a test case, okay? So let's create the test. Using the object reference of this extent report, I'll create a test. I'll, I'll create a single test case, nothing much. Uh, and give the test name here. Let's say test one. Test one has a test name. And uh, this create test will return you an object of the extent test. I'll say e-test is equal to e-test one or something is equal to over the mouse and say create local variable extent test uh, will be defined for the object. Now using this e-test one, okay, I can call a method known as log. Okay, there's something known as log. I can go with this log status and string details. So in the log, the first one is a status guys. Give status, okay, and say status dot if I say status dot fail, or if I say status dot uh, info, otherwise status dot info, and uh, okay, I'll give some information here. That's it, nothing much. Okay, uh, here import this uh, status from extent reports. Better. Okay, status dot info. Okay, this is the correct way. Okay, after importing, we are getting the correct output. So here I'll say this is an information log, right? So test one started or something, we wanted to print it out, okay, in the logs, okay? Now, along with that, the same test, e-test one has uh, another log, that is status dot, okay, status dot warning is there, okay, status dot warning, where there is a warning, let's say, uh, button is not aligned. Button can be better aligned. Okay. It's not a failure, but it is a warning. Guys. It's neither information nor a failure kind of thing. Neither we cannot say that it is a pass. It is a warning. Okay. Uh, though the test is neither passing, neither failing, but uh, there is a warning. Okay. There's something to be corrected still. Okay. It cannot be treated as failure. Okay. It is a small thing or maybe status dot. Then you have something like uh, pass. Okay. For same test, you are using multiple type of logs, okay? So which one will be considered? Let's see. Test one passed, okay? Then I am saying this will not happen in real time, but what will happen? We are just taking to find out the level of logs. We have to go through this process, okay? Log status dot. Then I'll use so better. I'll use warning here, guys. After the pass, I'll use warning info pass then i'll use warning then i'll use skip okay i'll say test one skip 
okay then next one e test final log e test one all type of log types i'm using status dot fail guys last one is fail and where i'll say test one fail okay test one fail now here we have only one test to be created in the extent report generate extent report but this particular test has multiple logs of different types like info pass warning skip fail as per the levels which one has the first level fail has the first level no matter how many logs you have if we have a log related to fail the even though it is mentioned as pass info warning skip the test will be considered as fail guys because the first preference will be given to the first level preference will be given to the fail log okay if a particular test has a fail log no matter what other type of logs are there they will not be considered failure okay at a high level the test will be failed in the report guys okay and the last statement as already covered in the previous session will automatically open the generated report for us we don't have to manually this is from java guys which will automatically open the okay if you want to know about about this you have to refer to the previous session guys so you see the script has run and uh, finally you see at the test level it got failed guys but here different type of logs got dis displayed test one started test one passed button can be better aligned there is warning test one skip test one failed when there are different type of logs and fail is also there in that level one will, will level one priority will given to the fail and that's the reason test one is at a high level failed guys okay this test will be considered as fail only okay even though pass is there it will not be considered now what if this fail thing is not there then what will happen the remaining four are there info pass warning skip which one will be considered as per that levels skip has a second level okay skip warning pass info is there means skip will be considered let's run this rightly run as java application you will see the test will be skipped you see at this test level it is skipped you, even though you have info pass warning skip skip is being considered what is skip is not there fail is not there skip is not there you only have three logs associated with the same test then in, in this case info pass and warning are there then warning will be considered guys okay warning will be given the next level level three is warning okay let's run this and see this time warning will come at the test level all these logs will be associated with the test but at the test level you see warning is coming this test has a warning info pass and warning what if i remove warning if i remove warning then out of info and pass pass will be considered okay in, info is just an information so it doesn't affect the test much so it will be automatically passed the report will contain a pass thing okay you see pass info and pass are the pass are there. what if i remove the what if uh, i remove one minute what if i remove this pass also in that case what will happen in this case also you will get the test level status as pass only info means just information guys they are not going to change the status at the test level is just for information purpose if nothing is failing or skipping or uh, warning is not there or failure is not there automatically it will be passed right so with info it will also pass okay only info is also passed guys you will see that pass will be mentioned at the test level and info log will be there at this uh, test uh, this under under the test you see at the test level it is passed and it has an info log test one started okay so this is all about the log levels in extent reports guys okay so when you have multiple logs associated with a single test in the extent report generate extent report then first priority will be given to the fail if you, uh, then over the other logs and then if you don't have fail then skip will be given the priority then if you don't have fail and skip warning will be given the priority out of the remaining logs and if you don't have these three things then pass will be given the priority when you have only info automatically it is pass only okay so hope guys you understood the different logs and their levels in extent reports in this session so that's all for this session. I'll cover another extent report session in the next session. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.